When you play golf, do you need a caddy? Not really, but when you're with these girls, it's a lot more fun and it actually might make your game better. So what am I, I going to do here? Well, ah, caddies aren't like they used to be. Julia is not that old codger who swears at me in broken Scottish. She is with the Caddy Girls of Myrtle Beach, and on this day, my caddy for a round at Tidewater in North Myrtle Beach. And of course, I didn't listen. She told me to putt this, but I chipped it instead downhill, and it went by too far, giving me a tough par putt. Um, I didn't tell you to putt first because I didn't want to boss you around, but definitely thought it was a better idea because this hill is definitely steep. It's hard to get up. Julia is one of about 70 caddy girls in the Myrtle Beach area. There are about 400 across the country in high golf areas. You have two options. You have a $59 booking fee. Jessica Walters is the marketing and sales director for Caddy Girls in Myrtle Beach. She is also a caddy girl herself, but she treated me to a round of golf and Julia as our caddy girl to explain that caddy girls are not just pretty Absolutely. faces. We, um, we have a training program. All the girls are, you know, they watch a video and then we actually take them out in the course and show them everything there is about four caddying. And then we also have walking caddies. Um, I carried a bag in the U.S. Open qualifier two weeks ago here in Spartanburg. Yeah, and I've, you know, we've, we have girls that have carried bags in other, uh, you know, tournament events. Among the chores, caddy girls will rake traps, give you your distances, and watch where your ball ends up. I think one of the big things, especially for people who are visiting the area, mm -hmm. who don't know the courses, they would love to have a four caddy. Because I know there's times where I don't know a course, and I'm hitting what I think might be an okay shot, or maybe it's a shot right on the edge, I still can't find it. Whereas a four caddy would be able to find it. Right, and there's so many courses in, in Myrtle Beach and all over the country that, you know, the girls may not necessarily know all the course hazards, but if you put in that request, we can make sure that we have a caddy for you that has been to that course before and is going to give you that type of knowledge. Um, and a lot of times people just want someone out there that's fun and just doing your super basic four caddying kind of stuff where they're, you know, just keeping your clubs clean and all that sort of, you know giving your buddies a hard time when they've hit a bad shot and that, that kind of fun. So, you know, we try to do our best to really match up the, the golfers with the types of caddies that, you know, suit their outing because some people are really bad. It doesn't matter what club I tell them to hit. They're, <laughs> they're going to shank it in the water five feet, you know, to their right. So we try to really make sure that, you know, if you guys are not a very serious golf group, that we're not going to send you out there with someone that's, you know, going to be like very serious cat. Now even though lots of us are serious golfers, these are great looking women. I wondered if some customers get out of line. Are there things that you would tell guys, hey, don't cross the line here? Just I mean, don't do be a creep. Like Just don't be a creepy guy. Okay. Yeah, I think that's probably it. They're going to get called out by their caddy, probably, if they... What's, what's, the, worst, <laughs> what's the worst thing that you would say that, that somebody would do or has done or the most common thing that they do that you're like okay that's enough um i think people just sometimes they drink a little too much and get a little fresh but i think that's something that can happen as an attractive woman really in any job you know you can be a bartender and have that happen you can be you know at a retail store and have that happen if you're you know guys just sometimes don't know how to act but you know our girls are they have a good backbone and, and they know how to to you know draw the line and kind of knock out that behavior pretty quick. And honestly, it doesn't happen as much as I think people mm -hmm. speculate stuff like that happens. You know, most of the people, I would say 99% of the guys in, that hire us, and, and girls, we, you know, women hire us for stuff too. Um, you know, they're cool. They're just looking to have a, a good round and, and, and have some fun on a golf course. And, you know, no one really does anything weird, so to speak. For caddy girls like Julia still in college, the job is fun and rewarding. You do this more as a kind of a part-time gig while you're just in college, right? Yeah, I do about two, three times a week, depending on my availability, but I usually try to get out here as much as I can because it is a great job, and I love golf. Absolutely love it. And every time I talk to someone new, I learn something new, and everyone has a different story and has so much to offer. And not even is it great for a job, but social networking, I've met so many people through this. If you are interested in booking a caddy girl for your golf outing, just go to this website and find out the nearest chapter. Oh yeah, and listen to what they say.